Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. Now, I must confess I'm a little bit nervous about the timings of this video because in a couple of hours' time, Joe Biden is going to be sworn in as the 46th President of the United States. But with the way that things are going, is he going to use a doppelganger or a stunt double? And what's the, the likelihood that there is a domestic terrorist within the 25,000 home guards that are protecting the proceedings? Well, laws of probability suggests that Trump supporters get everywhere. Well, let's hope that the event goes by without incident and I'll be talking about Bidenomics over the coming four years at least and whether the new US president will lift tariffs on imports of Scotch whiskey. Now, ahead of the quiet handover of power at the White House, there's been lots of excitement generated in the aviation sector. EasyJet reporting that there's been a 250% increase in summer bookings, with May currently proving to be the most popular month for holidays. And for those of you who get your kicks out of sightseeing in the ghetto, I've been reliably informed that there's plenty of good deals if you fancy travelling to Washington, D.C. Now, if you fancy a punt, then invest in Scott Gold, which is Scotland's very first gold mine. Now, Scott Gold believes it can recover 175,000 ounces in total from Connanish, uh, that's worth 236 million pounds at current prices and Connanish is near Tindrum in the west of Scotland. Which brings me very neatly to London South East's first investor webinar of 2021 and it's focused on the mining of precious metals where there will be chief executives from the following companies Orissa Mining, Savannah Resources, Rainbow Rare Earths and Goplat and there's still time to sign up for the event on Tuesday the 26th of January. Now, you'll obviously be watching that from the luxury of your own home. Well, as more and more of us have been doing homeschooling, home learning, uh, remote working, there has been a beneficiary, and that is Pearson, which is the most shorted stock in London. FTSE 100 listed learning company has benefited from homeschooling with newish chief executive Andy Bird saying teams were laser focused on closing out 2020. And I'm closing out of this week's What's Hot and let's hope that they keep their cool in the United States. Stay well, stay safe. I'll be back same time next week.